Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of the Kirky bike uh, installation. Today I'm going to go through the wiring because as you can see here and in my previous part it looks kind of a huge mess because there are a lot of wires and plugs even though they have those Mars concentrators that take a lot of wires into one single one. Uh, and you get a very detailed manual. I'm going to show you how actually uh, easy it is to just hook them all up and also test them before putting on uh, your bike so I want to actually turn on the display to see how it looks how it works if it works uh, and how all those wires work and if they work so I'm going to start with these uh, things they are uh, several harnesses so you get the display with one single plug then you get the light harness which is this one so these are lights, lights, horn, turn lines, everything is there. And you get this harness, which is the uh, brake levels and accelerator. And it has only two plugs here, one green, because this goes actually to the display. They are color coded and also uh, they are impossible to fit otherwise. Only if you use the force, you can actually fit it into another plug. Then we are left with this plug. This plug connects with the uh, light harness here to the other concentrator you can see this one here so they fit just like that they also have some small arrows here that need to point towards each one so they fully make contact as they should and then we have connected the, the display to the brake and accelerator harness to the light harness so all the wiring there is done what is left is the controller. The controller has three plugs here. One is for the motor, one is for the uh, assist sensor for from your pedals, and the other one is for the general harness that we have just built. So we are going to connect this plug to the correct one. Uh, let me see. So that's the motor. This one is the... Uh, they don't fit, but again, if you force them enough, you are going to break something and they will fit. All right, so I have connected the other harness and now all it needs is battery power. Battery has a lot of uh, juice in. So I'm going to connect the battery to the controller. Don't worry and also uh, take care when you are connecting the battery first time to a controller. It's going to make a huge spark or a small spark and a lot of noise. Just look at this. Uh, if you do it kind of uh, gently, it's not going to make a huge spark, but you have uh, probably heard the sound. Sometimes they make a huge spark because the controller has some internal capacitors that will uh, charge in an instant from the battery. They draw a huge amount of power and they create a spark. Right, so theoretically my whole harness beside the motor is now connected and should be functional. And we can check that, so let's power on the display. And look at that, the display is working. So I have correctly installed the wiring and it also has a temperature sensor that has stabilized. I don't know if that's the controller temperature or not. We are going to read that in the manual. And we get the up and down buttons, they work and you can change settings here. Odometer, treat meter and probably by holding these two buttons pressed. You can change some things here. Okay, I have reset the distance, the time. All right, that's also to be investigated. You can see here the battery voltage. Right, and now uh, let's test the other parts of the harness. So if I press a brake lever, you can see here it shows that I'm braking and disabling the motor. So that one also works and we get this combination switch here so i got lights and it works we get a stop light that works and turn signals just like i told you they have pretty sick turn signals just like on modern cars now they slide all right and of course the port horn that's pretty powerful and it's integrated into the um, headlamp so as you can see although it looks messy it's super easy and it just took me uh, 
five minutes to make this video and do all the wiring so all that is left is just connect the uh, <coughs> pedal sensor and the motor and you can ride the bike and another interesting fact about uh, this kit is maybe you don't need the light harness maybe your bike already has some good uh, leds uh, in the front a very good bright headlamp or stop lamp or you don't need a horn you have a bell or you don't want to install all that harness and make it more easy to install then it's very easy to do this thing so just unplug the battery to be safe i'm going to take out the main harness from the controller then from the combination switch combination harness here i'm going to take out the whole light harness so it's completely disconnected i'm going to put it away and then i'm going to take the plug from the harness that controls the brake levels and the throttle so this uh, main harness here and i'm going to connect this directly to the controller just like that is connected i'm going to put the battery back take care with the spark and now i'm going to try to power it on guess what happens it's working perfectly without that harness so i have simplified the harness just to the basic minimum that i need which means brake levers and throttle accelerator of course you are going to install the uh, pedal sensor but it works like that also told you about the secret menu of course there is a secret menu so i am also going to show you that right now so press both up and down buttons and hold and press and now we get the table full of settings here so you have speed limit you have wheel diameter and all those p's and c's and l settings uh, which we are going to find out and document in another video because it's going to be much to talk about each one of them so until my next video see you and bye bye